Ladies and gentlemen, today we look at a real superstar. Five star skills, four star weak foot, high medium work rates, Eric the King Cantona. A warrior card this is. Powered him up with the Hunter to boost the, the shooting and, of course, the pace. He's got a plethora of different traits. What did I think about him? Now, somebody messaged me the other day and they said they really like physical players. And I think if there's one word that defines Eric Cantona, it's physical. I swear I have never seen defenders being bullied like the way Eric Cantona can. And of course, he's super clinical as well. I think more than just finishing, look at shot power. Because someone who's got good shot power will have good finishing. For a big man, he's got really nice dribbling. Look how he keeps that ball very close to himself. He's got them five-star skills and I said this again and again and again this year, FIFA 22. I think it's synonymous with this game, with the five-star skills. It's just really, really important. And also, because he's so physical, he gets a lot of jam as well. Like, he gets a lot of luck. He just barges through centre-backs and just wins 50-50s. He's so strong. He's so physical. What a card. You can see here, look at the five-star skills. Got lots of trickery in the book. Okay, that was a great save right there. But you can see what he brings to the table. Strong, quick, amazing shooting, decent dribbling for a big man. I will be honest with you, at times I did find him a little bit clunky. But that's to be expected with a big striker, okay? I don't think there's a I don't think there's a card in this game that's as big as him and who won't feel a little bit clunky at times. Definitely an aerial threat, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Really nice shooting in the box. I'd say after using him, I think he's one of them strikers you have to fear because he, he can do basically anything. He can head, he can he's quick, he's got good dribbling, he's got five star skills. So you get what I'm saying? He's got a lot of qualities. You can see here. Look at that. That's a fantastic finish right there. He just he's elegant, isn't he? He just makes it look easy. Now, I have to speak to you guys in the second half whether he's worth it or not. So, I've, I've just briefly talked about some of his weaknesses. I think at times he feels a bit clunky. Now, one of the biggest problems I have with this card, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a phenomenal card. Look at this. Bullies the centre-back, gets that ball at the back of the net. I love how strong he is, how quick he is, how his shooting is fantastic got great shot power he's got the five star skills he's very clinical I get all that he can head the ball I've spoke a lot about what he brings to the table now I don't think this card is worth the money now his mid I just checked on the market he's about 650k this card goes for 1.8 million coins there is no way I am going to sit here and tell you guys that this prime is triple the price of his mid. It, it's not. I've used mid Cantona. He's insane. This card will be better, but not enough to signify or substantiate the three times price difference. I don't think this card's worth it. Honestly, I think value for coins, I'm going to give it a six. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am a huge fan of Eric the King Cantona in this game. I love him to bits. He's insane. But I can't sit here and tell you that this one is three times the price of that mid because I love mid Cantona. Okay? Especially with the Hunter. That, that card just outplays his stats. I mean, look at the way he just bullied Marquinhos there. So look, I think overall I'm going to give this card a 9. So that's how highly I rate this guy. He's, I, I rate him very highly. Where this card declines in overall rating is because of the value. I just think this card is overpriced. I don't think he's that much better than the mid. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and... I enjoyed using Eric the King Cantona. He's a sublime striker. Somebody you definitely 
one in your team but go for the mid because for me as an icon reviewer it's all about saving your money because what's the point spending three times as much when the mid basically does the same job do you get what i mean like yeah so there's no point and i have to tell you guys honest reviews or else what's the point watching this video do you get me it has to be honest it has to be purpose uh it has to be for a purpose and i think i've given that verdict right now thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later.